Hey guys, this is Irie Starcraft, and I'm going to be casting another 2v2 game, and this one is going to be on Monolith Ridge. And this time we are going to see Mindset, who will be on Protoss this game. He'll be the red Protoss, and his teammate is going to be Sorcery, who is also on Protoss, so a double Protoss matchup. He is the blue Protoss, Sorcery, and Mindset. We have both seen many games of them, though I do not think that we have seen them... Uh, on the same team yet in the uh, in Protech or Legends set of replays but um, <clears throat> they are going to be against Rush the Teal Zerg I don't think I have cast any games that Rush is in yet but he is all over the the leaderboards in the 2v2 uh, matchups he's a very good uh, 2v2 random player and he is a member of at least one high level team I forget his partner's name but he is going to be with uh, Legend and Legend is going to be on Protoss this game. I think he has actually been on Terran uh, the two games so far that I've cast from his pack. So it'll be interesting to see what he does on Protoss this time. And so um, I expect to see another very intense, super high level matchup. And I'm so excited that I have these games from Legend uh, that he sent me to cast now. Because now I have two different sets of high level packs from Protech, Protech and Legend to cast from. And so if you guys, uh, any of you guys out there watching this are high level team game players and you have some, some saved replays that you thought were really good games, please email them to me at iriestarcraft at gmail.com. And um, so we see the scouting going on for, uh, for both, actually for Sorcerer right now, and he's going to see that there are some Zerglings on the way for Rush. So as expected some early Zergling pressure to try and uh, throw the opponents off their game and these 2v2 games I mean you guys have seen it there's so much early pressure it's the way to play it turns out you see all these these are really high level games these are the best players in 2v2 in North America and some of the best teams in the world and this is how they play just about every game with tons of early pressure because you've got to take advantage of the the difference in numbers at the beginning when you can team up uh, and uh, and split up your opponent's forces it can make the hugest difference and we see Rush is sort of he's just looking for any sort of tease play it looks like with those Zerglings making sure there's nothing left scouting in the corner of his base no uh, no proxy pylons are gonna go down because he knows he's playing against two Protoss players so now he has a substantial force of Zerglings 12, 12 to be exact make it 11 and they are running across the map. They're going to see that this Zealot from Mindset nicely placed there to try and block off um, any kind of... Uh, as you can hear, I don't know if you can hear my phone going off. I will call you back. But, um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. As those Zerglings are pressing the front of Mindset, seeing that that is not going to work, they're going to come over here and check out Sorcery's front. And they both really have the same thing going on. Sorcerer getting that second pylon to make sure he doesn't unpower those buildings. If a, if there is a really heavy push here, it looks like um, Legend telling uh, Rush to go for that fast Lerta, and looks like Legend with the Dark Shrine is already on the way out. So we're gonna see some very fast Dark Templars, and are these players gonna be ready for it? I don't think there are any forges on the way right now for either player. As we see, no, and there's no robotics facility in the near future that I can see. It looks like, I mean, Sorcerer here has got his, he's going to be go going with a four gate, it looks like. And then down here you have, a, and uh, Mindset is going to be doing the same thing. So a double four gate is going to be very vulnerable to Dark Templars. And this could get very interesting very quickly you see how rush is just he's not really doing anything with these zerglings but what he is doing he's forcing these units to just sit back here he's denying any kind of um, any kind of scouting or early pressure by just having his speedlings out in the front here and so it looks like he's now actually going to pull these back i'm not sure if he's going to try trying to scout again for any kind of proxy pylons or or what it looks like rush now is sharing control with legend so as you, if you saw uh, the chat on the, that Legend was talking about last game, you saw how he was asking, um, or maybe that was two games ago, how he's, he was asking Ark to give him control. <clears throat> so Legend clearly a very good player when it comes to micro. And um, 
So he has been encouraging his partners on occasion to give him control for the battles and let allow his partner to just macro up and rally units up to the front. So uh, neither team doing much pressure right now. It looks like Rush is going to go back to that front area and check out what's going on. There are a lot of stalkers now and a bunch of sentries out for Sorcery. So some good force field placement could make a huge difference in the upcoming battle. But the Dark Templars are already inside Mindset's base. And I missed that. I knew I saw that they were coming. But look at the proxy pylon placement right here. It's way out, just barely enough space of power in here to warp the Dark Templars into the side of the base. And one Dark Templar is all it took because there is no detection out for Mindset or Sorcery. And neither of them are mining because guess what? There must have been, there's two more Dark Templars inside Sorcery's base. And look, he has force fielded off his Nexus. But now he has been forced to pull these units back to make those force fields. And he left his front open. So Rush bringing in the Zerglings. But, uh, but, the, but protected by the force fields there was Sorcery. The problem is that the Preserver is just now out. So the Observer for Mindset is out, but it was too late. That Nexus just barely, barely went down on the last swing by the Dark Templar. And you saw that Mindset's Nexus also is out. And there are three Dar Dark Templars from Legend inside of Mindset's base. And they are just decimated by this Dark Templar rush. The Observer is out now. But, I mean, what can they do? There's... There, I mean, neither of them have a Nexus. So guess what they're going to do? They're going to go all in because you know they have to. So it's going to come down to this battle up front here. They need uh, they need an, uh, an Observer with this fight because you know there's the potential for Dark Templars, though I don't see any coming in for Legends. So it looks like he may have abandoned that to try and force his attack back. These units from Sorcery and even Probes to here in the mix have gone right up the ramp into Rush's base, but now going to pull back out of there because his partner, Mindset, is getting surrounded by a bunch of Zerglings out here in the middle. But it looks like with Sorcery's help, those Zerglings are going to all go down. But Mindset is basically has no army left. He has nothing left. No Nexus. No army. Sorcery with no Nexus. He has to end this game right now with this group of Stalkers and of, uh, of Sentries and his probes and a few Zealots. So here we go. As Mindset with one Stalker is going to try and assist here. There's one Spinecrawler, not enough. There's two more trying to come down, but those are not going to finish in time. And look at the force field placement nicely there from Sorcery. is keeping Legend out of the base, but Mindset is going to GG out anyway. Because it looks like once Legend can get these units up this base, which he will be able to eventually, he will be able to clean this up. The problem is, I mean, I'm surprised Mindset GG'd out. I would have liked to see him stay for maybe another minute here, because now with the pro or the drones... And Zerglings are just whittling down this army gradually. And these sentries, though, have plenty of energy to keep this, uh, to keep Legend's army out of there. The problem is that Sorcery is so low on units. Is he going to be able to do enough damage to Rush to make a difference? It looks like it is not going to be, though. We, we see these sentries just sitting down here doing a great job keeping the reinforcements away and trying to micro these stalkers as best he can. But Rush has been pumping out zergling after zergling after zergling and finally now with the, with the uh, assistance from the drones on the mineral line are going to kill enough of these stalkers that sorcery decides to gg out so another super intense great game there between legend and rush a uh, very well played and against uh, sorcery and mindset so thank you guys for watching email me your replays irystarcraft at gmail.com thumbs up the vid subscribe if you like the stuff and that's it for me and peace out